Yeah, I thought we got some good work in today. Um, it's a big week for us. Obviously, there's a lot of excitement. Week one, uh, opening day is always a good, nice time around the NFL. It'll be a lot of excitement all week, and uh, we know we got a big challenge ahead of us. Uh, testing wise, were you all okay to get everybody through? Everybody was available today at practice, so that was a that was a plus. Uh, you mentioned obviously, you know, you go back a long ways with Billy's DC. Yeah, does John. That, does that help you? In any way, is that maybe kind of less of a like? Is that maybe a one area where it'd be like less of a surprise? Maybe what you're even going to do because of that relationship? Or? No, you know, I, um, you know, I'm not a big like off season uh, clinic guy with people for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, we all study and everybody's got different. You build relationships, and and obviously there's a lot of guys on the staff I get relationships with. Some of I've worked with. Uh, Jason Michael, Kevin Petulo, John Cannon, um, Tracy Rocker, guys that I, I've got a relationship with. But, you know, it's a very competitive league. They got really smart coaches over there. I, I don't necessarily say, hey, it's going to give me one advantage one way or the other. You do have some familiarity, but I haven't worked with John in going on about eight years. And so, you know, as he's going on in Minnesota and in Indy, and we obviously faced Indy uh, in our divi the old division quite a bit, but he's going to have his own stamp on that defense. I know they'll play, they'll play sound. They'll be, they'll be attacking that football. They'll be really, really sound in the secondary, and that's a really good front we got to play. And I think both of their fronts are about as good as, as there are in the league experience. I mean, you told me most of those guys were on that Super Bowl team, so we know we got our work cut off for us. You, mentioned, you, said you're, you just said you're not a big clinic guy. Is that how you've been throughout your entire career, or is that more of a recent thing? Because you know, some young coaches use that sure. as like a valuable. Sure, and there's nothing knocking on it because it's, you got to learn in different ways. It's more, I guess, when I say that, it's not that I'm sitting there trying to share a bunch of things. I'm trying to actively learn, and I've never been one that's big and then trying to, uh, I guess, share everything that, that we do. And not that we, I think that we have some kind of, you know, state secrets, but it's just my personal philosophy. So, so to go back to the question is, uh, you know, John and I haven't sat there and tried to clinic each other about here's what we're doing. I mean, you're in the vision. You just know at some point you're going to basically, somebody's a good coach, which I knew right away John was, that you're going to have to compete against them. I know we've spoken a lot about the maturity of this rookie class, but I was just curious, in your general perspective, what are some actionable ways you see that maturity maybe like in a live situation? Well, in a live situation is really it's the day after day. Um, you know, you don't have to sit there and, and babysit them. You know, there's a lot of, you know, uh, we've got a good player development program here that tries to help in the NFL. The league's got their own program, and, and every team does, not I think, a pretty good job of making sure you help the rookies. There's so much thrown at them that's different than coming from college football. But having said that, there's a lot of the stuff that I haven't had to do a ton of babysitting. I, mean, I wish there was wood to knock on wood here. But um, just little things like that, you know, the way these guys, they, they've – They've attached themselves to some quality vets to try to learn the ways about how to go through a week in the NFL, how to get through training camp, and that sort of stuff. Yeah, with Jalen, I know you talked last time about kind of like baptism by fire, essentially. And um, I, I'm just curious, you know, I feel like a lot of times when you have that baptism moment, it's either a moment where you fall on your face and you learn from it, or you can kind of see a guy holding sure. his own. What is the difference between those two types of players in a moment? Well, I think the thing is, is to keep, and I've used it before, keep perspective. Um, certainly, he's going to be facing some pretty good players this Sunday, and there's going to be somebody every week. I always said this, and, uh, you know, maybe to quote Russ Grimm here, but, like, somebody's got to draw the short end of the straw on every play. So, you know, it's the NFL, and, and, and it's, I found it valuable uh, working with guys like Russ or Bruce Matthews or Mike Munchak, guys that played up front. All three of those guys are in Canton, and they could tell you stories endlessly about – their first snaps or, you know, the matchups they might have had week to week and going back. And, and that's why I love the history of the game. I mean, they talked about ironically playing Philly. I, you know, I go back to Munch and Bruce, you know, and then depending on who had the matchups, you had Reggie White, you had Jerome Brown. Um, slipping my mind here is the interior guys, but I mean, they were loaded up front, right? And then, you know, so somebody had a, a tough job on, on every one of those plays when you talk about going back to the Oilers versus the Eagles or whoever and going on. So. You know, at some point, you, you know, he's, he's, we drafted him here, and he's going to have an opportunity to play. And that's what I look at as an opportunity. And we understand that there may be some growing pains. We, we 
try to eliminate certain risk, but eventually at some point there's going to be a third down and you're going to have to block one of, one of their guys. So um, but I, got, I got a lot of faith in, in Jalen, uh, but there's, that's for every rookie. There's going to be an opportunity. How much does, you know, we are talking about Hens about precision of technique and how just important that was for him and his development. But, I mean, I guess it could go to, I mean, it definitely goes to Jalen, too. Sure. I mean, with this group, how important is that kind of coming into week one to already have that precision of technique as the groundwork? Yeah, I mean, you you know, and Henny does a nice job. And, again, he's, he's a young player. It's not like he's some seven-year salty vet either. Uh, you know, that's the thing. If you look at our up front, other than Jake, you know, they're pretty young, and we believe in these guys, but there's there's a lot to learn. Uh, I, I love the mindset of those guys, the way that that line works. I think Led's done a great job in there, and uh, I'm excited to see these guys go out there and compete against a really good front Sunday afternoon. The fact that Jalen theoretically can play against, you know, playing next to a guy like Matt, who, like you were saying, doesn't have a ton of experience, sure. does that – I don't want to, that, maybe that doesn't change what you call early on, but does that change anything early on? Because that wasn't necessarily what y'all were expecting a week ago at this time. Because y'all yeah, but that's, that's life in the NFL, and you better have a contingency plan. And I, you know, I, I, I won't fully answer that because I don't want to get into strategy or, or scheme. Um, but those are, you know, when we took Jalen, when we understood that there's a good chance, you know, the way we're, we're, we came out of the draft, and you know, we obviously added. A little bit of free agency here, uh, but we understood that at some point they're going to have to play, and, and we feel pretty comfortable about the guys we'll put out there. I mean, going back, you initially had really two vets next to, to Matt at that point. Now that that's not going to happen, is there yeah, any is sort of reference to what? I'm getting any reference to maybe playing him at all in the sure. Does that, yeah, does that? Yeah. Does that? Is there any sort of like, oh man, maybe could have gotten him five ten? Snaps just to get it, get it some work now that no. you're in this situation a week later. No, I mean it, it was important to get Jalen those reps. We felt good about Matt, um, you know, the camp and the way he, he handled himself in camp, going down to Miami. Um, so no, it, the more of the guys that haven't played was the experience. You know, we had a huge rookie class, and a lot of guys that had never even, even some of the first year guys that had maybe been on bounce on the practice squad had never been an NFL game. At least Matt and Lindstrom. And Caleb had played in NFL games, so it was more the focus was on Drew and Jalen, making sure they got real reps. You made the move to pick up Gallman and mm -hmm. Quadri. What went into, I guess, both sides of that decision? Yeah, uh, it's obviously not the end of the road for Quadri, um, but you know Wayne was a guy we thought we want to we want to bring in here that maybe can add something for us, uh, certainly in the backfield or, or more importantly on fourth down. So that was a big, big part of it. Not to say that he won't at some point get carries, and not to say that you can't put somebody up on, on practice squad that can play here on this Sunday. So all the options are on the table, but that was part of the reason we wanted to bring Gallman in here. Well, Coach, how important, um, you know, the whole backfield's new, the line, uh, you know, got a couple new guys up there. But how important will it be to get the running game going? It'll be important every week. Um, like I said, it, it's a lot of things factor into the run game. Um, we, we, you know, offensively again, we want to make sure that we're we are balanced. That number can change week to week depending on the matchups. But um, certainly, you, you'd love to have the same five, and I've been saying that all camp. That's just not the reality. You know, for the most part of 2019, when I was in Tennessee, yeah, we did have the majority of the same five, and then last year we didn't, and. You know, for multiple factors, and I'm not sitting there trying to take credit for something, but it, it, there's a reality in the NFL. So you, you know, it's you got to trust that you're working the right things, that you're, you're you're coming up with the right contingency plans, and that you're getting these guys enough enough reps and enough work that they feel good about their combination blocks, or if they get singled up, the technique and everybody's in sync, and that's a, that's continual work, and that happens throughout the season.